For this next presentation, I'm going to show you how to perform motion testing for the OA joint, which is the occipital atlanto joint. So it's basically the occipital bone that articulates with C1, which is known as the atlas. So if you're looking at the condyles, you can't really see them from this image in here, but if you're looking at the condyles of the occipital, then they are convex, and then they will articulate with the concavity space, if you like, on the facet of the atlas. And it's almost like saying that the atlas, which is the C1, is shaped like this, and then the occipital, and we can visualize like a, an exercise ball that we are carrying, and then it would sit in here. The main motion of the OA joint is simply to nod, so it's flexion and extension, and it's roughly around 15 degrees in total between the motion of flexion and extension. It's actually 5 to 10 in flexion and about 10 in extension, okay, but roughly speaking is about 15 degrees. And we do have between 5 to 8 degrees of side bending, and the OA joint is what they call type 1 motion. So what that means is when the OA joint side bends, it will rotate to the opposite side. So it's known as type 1 motion. But the primary motion will be the nodding, which is the flexion and extension. One of the tests we can do, because there are few, will be known as the translation test. And the way we do this, I'm going to come under the occipital bone in here into that almost like that natural dip towards the C1 into this sulci in here. So this hand will be exactly the same. So I'm going to cradle and I'm trying to have my patient in relative neutral. And what I'm going to do is to encourage a translation to the left and then a translation to the right. Okay, so I'm literally going to glide. It does take a, a few seconds for the patient to relax, especially if they're not sure exactly what it is you're trying to, to achieve with, with the tested procedure. Okay, but it shouldn't be any pain perceived on this motion. So what I'm going to do is translate one way and translate the other way. Now, so the idea would be that the left condyle is going to go more in an anterior direction because this left side is going to extend and it'll glide anteriorly. And then the right side is going to go posteriorly and is going to flex. But if you are doing the translatory movement one way or the other way, so when I'm translating to the left side, it feels easier when I perform the translation to the right side. Okay, so it feels a bit restricted going this way. So what we're going to do, we are going to place the occipital bone into extension. Okay, like this. And then I'm going to repeat the same movement. So if I go this way, Okay, and it's still restricted. It means that the left side is fixed relatively open and it cannot glide anteriorly on this left side. Okay, so I know that it's the left side, that's a restricted side. But let's say for argument's sake, when I'm doing the translation this way in extension, let me just put a little bit more extension in here. Let's say it's easier this way, okay, when I know that the left side is happy to glide anteriorly. So what we're going to do now is encourage flexion. Okay, so flexion. So I'm testing now the opposite side. So when I'm pushing translation, now let's say it's restricted now, which is not, but let's say it's restricted going to the right. It means that the right side cannot glide posteriorly. So it means that the right side is closed and cannot open. So it'll be the problem on the right side. Okay, so let me just recap there. So we test in neutral and I will palpate under the occipital sulcus in here. I will translate 
one way and I'll translate the other way. As you're assessing, you're actually treating. Okay, so once you've done it three or four, ten times, then you might find that it actually feels easier. Now, if I'm translating to the right and it feels restricted, if I extend my patient's cervical and I translate an extension, it means the problem's going to be on the same side. If it's easier in extension and I take my patient into flexion and it is now worse, then the problem is on the opposite side. So it's the opposite side but does not want to open. If it's in extension, then the problem will be on the same side and the same side does not want to close. So that would be a motion testing of the occipital atlanto joint.